from question number two let's consider the same device but this time we are interested in only the x coordinates of the needle point that is the shadow or the projections the projection of the needle point on the horizontal line so let's find the probability density and then also let's find the expectation value of x because this is the horizontal section uh, the average of x square and uh, the standard deviation the sigma so the first one let's uh, let's try to find the probability of density that is rho oh, let's let's do a white color that is rho of x okay so rho of x in order to find rho of x we need to find x just doing simple geometry x is r cosine of theta integrating I mean uh, take the derivative for that we get minus r sine of theta sine of theta d theta the probability that the needle lines in range d theta uh, is rho theta d theta right which is equal to 1 over pi this is from the first problem uh, d theta so that the probability that the needle gonna lie in range dx is rho x dx which is uh, equal to 1 over pi dx divided by r sine of theta so this is equal to 1 over pi dx divided by the square root of r times 1 minus x over r square which is the same as dx divided by pi times the square root of r square minus x square all right so let's carry on so finally the probability density rho of x gonna be equal to 1 divided by pi times the square root of r square minus x square that is f if uh, x is between negative r and r it's gonna be zero everywhere else right zero otherwise so if you want to imagine it if this is the x-axis and this is the probability density we're just gonna plot that between r and negative r outside this range the probability density is zero and anywhere inside it it's gonna be it's one over a square root so it's gonna look something like that right
Alright, so if we want to find the magnitude of d of x, we have to integrate. So let's do that. So we, we have to integrate from negative r to r. 1 over pi times square root of r square minus x square dx. which is equal to 2 over pi the integral from 0 to r 1 divided by square root of r squared minus x squared dx doing this integral we get uh, 2 over pi arc sine of 1 which is equal to 2 over pi times pi over 2 which is equal to 1 so that's good right all right so now let's go look at the second part of the question we're gonna have to uh, find the expectation value of x, expectation value of x squared, and uh, sigma, the standard deviation. So, expectation value of x, we simply gonna integrate between minus r and r. Uh, x divided by square root of r square minus x square dx I'm gonna skip how to do the integration here if you don't know how to do integrals I would recommend you go like study like some calculus because you're definitely gonna need it here yeah. this this integral here it, it has to be zero right because it's a it's a odd integral over over even uh, interval so this is odd this is gonna be very handy Inter and anytime every anytime we get an odd uh, odd interval over even intervals this summation will be equal to zero so that's easy so let's look at x the expectation value of x squared we can integrate from zero to r 2 over pi uh, x squared divided by square root of r squared minus x squared dx So this should be equal to 2 over pi times, I'm going to take an extra step here, x over 2 times square root of r square minus x square plus r square over 2 times the arc sine of x over r we can integrate from 0 to r let's close this guy okay so plugging these values we get 2 over pi r square over 2 the arc sine of 1 this is going to be equal to r square over 2 there you have it so this is the expectation value of x square so let's find sigma we know sigma is equal to x square average minus the square of the average so 
plugging the numbers and taking the square root we get sigma equals r divided by square root of 2 as you see this example is getting harder and harder I just want you to remember that all of this stuff is this is probabilities it's all about averaging and taking the expectation value of, of a certain thing and it's all gonna come together in the in the next question question number three